Now let's think about Tien and his and his ways, because Tien had a had a because according with Maruki, everyone everyone is both consenting and not consenting. They're consenting in which their desires. Yes, he is forced. He's for making you forget your past. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what Tien is doing. Tien is making you forget your past. Or he, I think this doctor, we're talking about a, a doctor from Lansing, Michigan in the 1960s, 1970s, who was an electric shock therapist who um, had, had invented a new form of shock therapy that he called electric love therapy, in which he invited people and gave them the choice to choose to reprogram their personality and to be reborn um, under his care. And, um, and so very interesting example, somebody who was very much as we've seen, talking about the language of choice and free choice and voluntary nature of this this enterprise, but it's it's also um, something that uh, again I think you said it before the idea of the promise of the, to to hold out the promise of one's individuality to somebody is the most powerful way to begin to um, incorporate them into a program or into a system that is anything but a space of exercising what they mean by individuality, right? And so Tian, with this promise to become a new person, where you would go in there, David, and you say he has some problems, and you're like, well, you, let's, be, let's become somebody else, let's become Steve. And you would begin to think about Steve, this character that you wanted to become. You would think about, you know, why Steve is so much better than David. And then you would undergo forms of therapy, and then you would undergo a kind of electric shock where it would traumatize your brain. You would be nursed back to health by your friends and family who would now call you Steve. Mm -hmm. And you would then be, you know, incentivized in a way that you've chosen already to live the life of Steve that you imagine. This exactly. is this is kind of like a selfie in 1972 with a lot more elaborate technological uh, accoutrement involved, right? It's not just you taking a picture of yourself. It's you, in a sense, you know, voluntarily undergoing a series of treatments and electric shock therapies under which everything is being recorded where you are in a sense becoming yourself in and through the technological conditions that surround you which again depending on the situation can be better or for worse but for somebody like Dr. Tian in the 1970s I think it's you read the transcripts of the therapy sessions and you and it makes you feel a bit uneasy about the degree to which how much voluntary freedom was involved even though individuals were happily and willingly doing this it kind of really begs a hard question right you know what what does freedom mean at the end of the day what is consciousness how does it work etc cetera, etc cetera. and we're trying to have this conversation now with all of these wild gadgets around us that makes it a lot more wild and fun and interesting to ask questions and i mean dr maruki's theme when you when you, fi when you finally fight him is I mean, throw, throw away your mask and he, and he says in that as you, you meditate on this don't sleep through dreams that can't come true mm, that's good yeah what do you think about that that's good don't sleep through dreams that can't come true hmm you know we all have desires we all have longings I mean I guess that's what tragedy is on some level right having you know living with tragedy living with a certain desire or promise and to live with that promise and that desire knowing that that promise will never be fulfilled and that desire will never be consummated exactly and i think that um so this is before it actually happens but i mean maruki is doing stuff with um a, a student by the name of sumire sumire yoshizawa mm -hmm. and in a and you find out apparently in in in, in his palace the past of sumire's what now goes by kazumi Yoshizawa's past, and sh and basically, her her sister died, who was a star cheerleader mm -hmm. by the name of Kazumi, and she died in a car accident, and she blames herself for that. She thought she stole her sister's dream, and she thinks the only way that she is going to go on and be and feel good about cheerleading is by is only that her that she that is says that her sister could do it. So. Only if I could be my sister. And Mark is like, instead of saying, you're crazy. I mean, not you're crazy. That's the wrong thing to say. But don't do that. Be yourself. That's what definitely a union would say. Mm -hmm. Of course, Mark is this anti-union repressive figure. Mm -hmm. He's gonna. He's saying, it's a good thing to think about what I do if, if I were if I were someone else. And so put on, put um, put your hair up into a ponytail and become mm -hmm. Suzumi. 
Well, that, there's something really beautiful about that, which gets us to the kind of Jungian dimension of all this. There's, there's something beautiful about the fact that contemporary forms of, of social media and technology, you know, you know, when I was a kid, when I was your age, with the early days of the internet, there was a lot of um, hemming and hawing and concern, anxiety, celebrations over a new world that was coming where we would be able to, God forbid, you know, at night, become anybody we wanted on various listservs and, and to inhabit characters and to, you know, in a sense, explore perhaps different parts of you, right? And so there's something about, um, there's something really kind of very youngian about that on some level, exactly. these different these different characters. In a lot of way, you kind of set up, you set up, like we think about Jeff Bezos before, Jeff Bezos knows this. Jeff Bezos right now knows this better than anybody, right? He knows through the data he's collecting every second of every day on every one, mm -hmm. that they're, they're, a self, a subject, is not consistent necessarily with itself, mm -hmm. right? And, and so he is then creating a system that is going to maximize the profitability of that insight, right? And so a kind of Jungian insight is cutting a very different way, right? It's not, mm. it's acknowledging perhaps similar truths about the multivaried character of personality, of, of selfhood, um, that there's different components, um, but with a very, I think, different blueprint and different purpose about how you might move forward given that insight.